Hi everyone, I'm Leo, and today we are going to make something like this: a clock, a clock app. Um, this is a large project, so we have to separate it into two parts. In today's lesson, we will cover the clock. And how do we retrieve the time information from our phone to display it on our screen's title here? So let's get started now.、Uh, we open a new project. And just、uh, analog clock. Well, I already set it up, so I can just go there. Now there are only two components in this application: a canvas. The canvas will do all the drawing part of our clock, and the clock component, which is under the sensors tab here, is going to、uh, manage the time. For us, so make sure that these boxes are selected and the timer interval is one thousand.、Uh, here, one thousand means one thousand milliseconds, which also means one second. And for the canvas, make sure that the height and width is set to three hundred and twenty pixels because、uh, we need to use the canvas to draw, which. Include many mathematical calculation, so we want to use actual pixels numbers instead of percentage. And this line width and paint color, and the background color, uh, just uh fill it with what you want. But it's Chinese New Year, so I just set it to red background and white for our line. So after the settings, we also want our clock to display in the center. And how do we set it? We go to the screen, and we can find the alignment, horizontal and vertical. Set it to center. And also remember, our title should be visible because we want to display our time on the title. Also, now let's move. To the blocks, so it's empty, and we need to have three variables first. They should be global, and can you guess what variables do we need? It's just simple. We need h for hour, m for minutes, and s for seconds. So we simply assign a number zero. That's our first step, and the second step we need to do is, well, in our previous lesson,、um, the tutorials for beginners, we always use buttons to control our functions. But this time we are not going to use buttons because the timer change its value every time. So we can simply use this block under the clock. So every time our clock. Uh, the timer change. We do the functions here, and the first thing we have to do is to set these variables to、uh, the current time of your phone. So we have to get the time information from our phone and assign it to our variables. So of course we need to set our hour first. Hour to the clock. So where do we find the blocks to get our information? It's under the clocks, and you should find here hour. 
an instance. So this instance means that where do we going to find uh, our time, our hour? So it's very simple. We simply call this function the now function, which means uh, we want to get the current time and we get the hour from it and then we assign this information to our variable here so we do the same thing for our minutes but remember we have to change this blocks also so we also go to the clocks and we can find the minutes and also do the same thing for seconds so this is our second step to assign the time values to our global variables and then what we want to do in this lesson is to display the time on our title but before that I want to make some little change for our time because if it's 8 o'clock I don't want to display one digit I want to display 0 8 it's, um, it's more like a digital clock so how do we do it? we need a mathematical and here if the time is smaller than 10 we add a 0 before it so we also need this if our hour is smaller than 10 then we want to add a zero before it so we use the test join function we join a zero and then we add our hour and we need to set our variable back to this number and we have to do the same thing for our minutes and also seconds well and after it the next step is our final goal in this lesson is to set our screen's title under the screen and title here set the title to the test now the title is a string so it can only contain one uh, item or elements so we have to join all the time information into one single text and remember in uh, some lessons in our beginners tutorial I have covered the join functions so we set it to our Oh. minutes and seconds and I want to use a colon between them okay that's all so let's test our application 
with our emulator now. Okay, so there must be something wrong about it. And you can see our minutes become our time, our uh, seconds, and our seconds just turn into a lot of serials and we have to find out what's going on. So let's find it. Okay, I found it. Here we need to set two seconds. And yeah. Let's try it again. Now um it should be okay now and you can see uh, here is our system time and this is our screen title and the time is displaying correctly so our mission is accomplished in this lesson so in next lesson we uh, we will cover how to draw a circle how to draw the lines in the clock and also putting the numbers around the circle to represent the time and it will be a very long lesson because it contains a lot of maths calculation and I have to explain it uh, one by one so I will see you guys in next lesson